truck electric on the back take just an, an, a truck and convert it to electric. We reached a point where we needed to decide hey, this means a completely new vehicle architecture. And this is the result. So project started in 2012. We had a first prototype in 2016. We brought it to the United States in 2017. At this point, everybody told us this is nothing for the North American market. But the, the truck was, was touring all, all over the United States. And finally, the feedback changed a little bit when the, when the people have been able to, to run the truck uh, and, and operate the truck. They saw the, the advantages. And if you think about electrification, you need to know what the requirement from your customers are. So we did a lot of research how fire departments are using their trucks. And if I would ask you, what is the most typical uh, call you have? 70% better. And so, but I made the experience, let's say five miles to the point of operation, 30 minutes standby, and back to the station. Something like this. And if you think how many energy you need, this is almost nothing. So I made the experience during my ride along with Los Angeles Fire Department that a goal like this take them 10% of the battery, of the total battery they have, yeah? to keep the battery as small as possible. Because additional, more batteries mean more cost, more weight, less room for equipment, and finally, more resources you need to invest. Yeah? So, investing less uh, resources. And even if you would add 20 times more batteries, it won't be enough to cover an extreme scenario, like a brush fire, um, a big uh, house fire, structural fire, you will never cover with any battery. So this is the reason why we try to keep the battery as small as possible on one hand and have the uh, energy backup system running on diesel yeah, as a backup system.